Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's gonna be a really fun one. I have two Terrapins that are living in my little mini pond over here that I think it's time to upgrade them from a small 75 gallon mini pond to free reign over 4,000 gallons. I have reason to believe that these two Terrapins are now large enough and comfortable enough with me and their environment that I'm fairly confident that they will do just fine living in this 4,000 gallon pond and won't be as freaked out as the smaller Terrapins that are currently in that mini pond. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is over here or over here. And if you guys don't know, I'm giving away a hatchling terrapin. One of my turtles had babies, so make sure that you head on over to Patreon, where I'm putting out exclusive content, live streams, all kinds of cool things that you guys can find over there. And a shout out to all of my current patrons who are helping to support me and pushing me to be able to crank out two videos a week. And they get direct input on video ideas, topics. They got to find out that my turtles had babies before anybody else did. There's just a lot of perks over there, so make sure that you go over there and help support the channel. In my last video, I showed you my hatchling setup for my six baby diamondback terrapins. Once they get around three or four inches, I would move them into this mini pond. I just ate a bug. Now in the wild, it's usually only adults or more specifically adult females who go into really deep water. In order to not stress out my terrapins, I keep the hatchlings in a small tub, then I keep the juveniles in a smaller tub like I have over here and then once I feel like they're large enough and comfortable enough I upgrade them to the main pond which is what we're doing today so I now have like a ton of plants and algae in these shallow areas that I think will make prime habitat for these juvenile terrapins to hang out and hide in in case they're not comfortable in the main pond over here we can take a look and see that these grasses and weeds have really started to take over and get algae all over them these terrapins have plenty more places to hide in order to make them feel secure so the terrapins going into the main pond are crushed right here, this female sub-adult ornate diamondback terrapin. And then hiding somewhere down here is Mochi, who is a concentric northern diamondback terrapin. There she is, right there. But she's gotten quite large and I think is ready to be in a larger environment. You see her head's absolutely massive and she's put on a lot of growth since being put in this little outdoor enclosure. All right, let's get this going. So first let's get Crush right here. Absolutely beautiful. Just immediately interested in the other terrapin. It's kind of funny. Hi! She fits right in with them all. Here we go. Oh, that was right on. Okay. Oh. All right, little mochi. Here we go. Let's get these fellas fed because uh, they look pretty hungry. Crush seems to really like beans. That's kind of funny. And Mochi is kind of nowhere. Oh, there's Mochi. Sticking her little head up. Oh, there she goes. There's Crush right alongside the other Terrapins. Let's see if she wants a little food. Mochi's right down there going into that cave. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. So overall, I would say that these two are adapting fairly well into life in a new enclosure. Just a couple minutes in and they're already eating and responding very comfortably to me. Oh, little lady in the tramp there. It's really nice though when I can't find my terrapins in here because it just means that they're able to hide and get really comfortable. And it means that it's unlikely that predators would be able to find them too. Hi, Louie. Hi. Do you want to go in the pond? They're interacting way better than I thought that they would in this enclosure. I mean, they're going from a 75 gallon tub to 4,000 gallons. That's pretty insane of a change. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit up the Patreon, two uploads a week, and I will see you all in the next one.